Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to World of Warships on this here Friday. And today, I'm in the mood for something big. And since I've already had a big pizza, let's go not for the Mogami today. Although I'm almost done with that. Only need, yeah, 38,000 XP for that. But I'm in battleship mode. And it's not big enough. The captain stand is not even above the first funnel there. I think I'm going to skip the hall upgrade here with some free XP. Spent way too much money on that and there we go. That's high enough. Oh. Second funnel is completely gone. Interesting. Wonder where that goes. Hmm. Well, no matter. And as you can see it still has the Halloween camo. That just shows I've been playing way too little in the past week. Been playing a lot of GTA Online. So let's see if I still can play a battleship. I didn't check my secondary range and what is this? No, oh, come on. So many tier 8s and tier 7s. I could have used a tier 5 match in that. That would be pretty difficult. Is it one of the new maps? Land of Fire. Yeah, it's one of the new maps. The one with the different sizes of the cap points. I don't want a tier 8 match. Me, 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 me. General quarters. Oh well. So, where's the rest of the team? All the destroyers are on that side. Strategically placed where these small islands are. The cruisers? How many do we have? Five. And one is on my right side. New Orleans. And two. Three on map. I will head over to the cruisers. At least I got my big, big tower back. That's what I like about the Japanese battleships. Gives them the distinguished look. Oh, and I got a plane now. Didn't have that before as well. I mainly did the upgrade though because the stock range of the Fuso is 13 kilometers or 13.9 or something. But, wow. This is a horrible thing to have. 13 kilometers on a battleship, you're basically dead before you can shoot anything. So what do we have here? An Atago. I like making, uh, looking at ships without the interface. And what do we have there? Another Atago. I wonder if I can identify ships without the interface. A little bit like a guessing game. Oh, there's one right next to me. And that, what is it? Three cannons must be the American. North Carolina? North Carolina! Ha! I know something! So, we have two cruisers actually going the direction where I came from. Then I will do a hard turn. Turn all my turrets around. The three turrets in the front are able to aim at each side better than the ones in the back that have to turn all the way around. But it's still the start of the battle, so there's still time. And the range, as you can see, way better now. 19.8 kilometers. The dotted ring on the radar being way bigger than it has been before. So far, only a few destroyers spotted. One cruiser, what is it? That's Koda. The Mogami we have over there. I like the new font they have. Better. Bigger. We have one of the new Polish destroyers. Laskovica? Something like that. Not good as Polish. I really hope they will give us that for either Dublones or in a cheaper bundle of just the ship at some point. Atago being way faster than me. Oh, 
and beautiful skybox. Makes for a good screenshot. Oh, something is in B. That hasn't been spotted. I have been spotted. I'd like to see that ship. There are two battleships. Oh, and there we go. Oh no, that's 20 kilometers. There are two battleships, or battleship and a cruiser, the Atago in New Mexico. Going for B. They might spot whoever is there pretty soon. Then I will be able to open up fire, but it might just be a destroyer and. Well, it might be already has a torpedo in the water. Maybe I should just launch my spotting plane and see if I can shoot at some of the battleships over there. They're all pretty fast. Turpids, Admiral Hipper. Let's see if we can fire at the Colorado. Ooh, I didn't do that in quite some time. 13 seconds. Come on, so close. And now he's gone. We have five ships over there and we we'll just have three of our own. Should anything of that way? I can shoot the turpits. Come here, you. Not sure if I shoot battleships with AP or AG. Still not sure, and that's a shame. And not a single hit, even though they were all on the right target lead. Let's shoot another salvo and hope it's not right into the island. Nope. May work. Finally. doing this pretty easy for me, uh, making this pretty easy for me. So, we'll switch to AP, but I will give him a full salvo in seven seconds. And stay on course, please. There we go, and now I will start to turn. But not very much. Why, why would I even turn? That was a good hit. He's totally not changing course whatsoever. Not even slightly. This is very brave of him. Well then, don't mind if I do. I hope he didn't slow down because it looks like he slowed down. <laughs> oh shit, he did. <laughs> Should have made a... Test shot. And they almost killed the Colorado. Come on, reload. Because now it's time to run for me. Oh, it's spotted. And now we go. Goodbye. It was nice with you. Six shots, but not a lot of hits. Turn my turrets. My rear turrets will be able to turn pretty good. From that point of view, it's very uh, healthy. If you chase something, you always have three turrets. 
if you're uh, if you're being chased, you still have three turns that can turn really good. Mister, so close. I should try to move the ship around so that I don't get an easy target like the turpins was. Fire on board. Off it goes. Yes, I noticed. Thank you. Oh, good hit. I hope he's, yeah, he's turning so that I can shoot him some more. That is very nice of him. Is he going behind the island? He's going behind the island. Or is he? Yes, yes. So let's shoot the turpits some more. I want fire again. But of course I am, because I am a little shot. and just one hit, so let's see. Uh, he wants to hide behind the island, so okay. My front turrets finally came to help me. Thank you. I defended the base. That is good. Zoom out a little bit. Time to use the repair kit. I am behind the North Carolina or whatever that is driving behind me. And oh, he came out again. Hello. The enemy is about to win. Welcome back. Oh, already? Oh, yeah, basically everything died. Uh, come on, that would be a nice one. Oh, it's just one hit. Am I going into an island? No, I don't, but there's a destroyer coming for me. So I will. <laughs> I really don't want to switch course now, considering he is almost dead. I don't want to switch ammunition either. I want to kill that guy now, because it will be very hard to win anyway. Oh, the destroyer got blasted. Nice. So let's see. I'm here, you. Oh, don't tell me I didn't lead enough. Oh, and it was the full server. Come on, one luck shot. <laughs> it was one luck shot, but he didn't kill. Uh, it didn't kill him. There we go. So now, wait, wait, wait to some direction. What can we do? Can we help with the Mogami? We cannot. There is a battle with the Turpits is the right target for me. And 35 seconds till I have my repair kit. I will give him my broadside just for the moment. Where is he? There he is. Only two hits. And then I will turn back. Oh, here comes his salvo. Let's turn some more and come on, shoot. So, we've taken the fire, but we are ready to fire again ourselves. way off today. Friendly destroyer there though. I will do something he might not expect. I'll just turn all the way. I can fire again. So can he probably... Uh, this time we will do a leading shot and see if that hits.
And we lost. Oh. I didn't do particularly good. 28 hits. We'll just do another one. Maybe we get lucky and the matchmaker decides I can go down a few steps and not set me into a tier 8 match. Sadly, my camo is gone since it will not be restocked. And it's a tier 4 match. Wunderbar. But that also means we have to do good now. We have to sink stuff. What do we have that can get dangerous for me? The Mutsuki, the Nicolas, the Izuka, the Kuma has torpedoes, Karlsruhe has torpedoes, I think it has, but only four kilometers range. Cleveland not. Who Cleveland? And of course, Congo, Fuso, New Mexico battleships. Which way do I go? I go to A. C might be too dangerous and will be full of destroyers. What's this? This being a lower tier match, I can almost shoot at any ship starting on the upper side of the map if someone would spot them. And there we have an enemy in New Mexico, and it's not going that fast. Let's see if I can get some shots in on him. Really not very fast. Well, might have aimed a little bit. Oh, not a single one. Had my shots all went in behind him, and there we have <coughs> one destroyer, Mutsuki, and a Cleveland. Let's start the plane. See if we can maybe annoy him a little bit. Let's shoot like give it a little spread and see if he drives into it. And he's closer than I anticipated. Still need the engine, I noticed. Not as fast as I could be. Even though that is slower than the Congo. Way slower. Is the destroyer still there? The destroyer is. might still be there. <laughs> if the Cleveland evades in my direction here, that would be bad for him. Oh, I still have my plane up, so I can just shoot that New Mexico that is still just going very well. Is he even going? Oh, and the plane is up really quite a lot longer than it was on the Congo. On the Congo it was up like one and a half minute. Ram ramming into someone? No, I don't. Uh, ten seconds left on the next shell, so... This time we will just shoot, more or less. Aim directly for him. Please don't hit the mountain. No. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, he catches a torpedo. 
Pump. Didn't do that much damage though. What do we have tier six aircraft? And someone is capturing A, so there must be a destroyer. I need to be careful. Destroyers being tier four, five, and six. And there is the destroyer. Where is he going? He's going out of the cap point. Come on, very fast. I will slow Torpedo down. To uh, okay. I will accept one torpedo hit. Let's see if that hits him. I cannot tell since I'm shooting. But this one from the back turrets, that works better. Wasn't a lot of damage, still. Now I need to get him back into a viewing range or the destroyer within the next seven seconds already. Redoubt feels quite fast. Torpedoes, so dead ahead! Two. Suki and tier 4. Oh yeah, he's 10 kilometer away, so... He, you can torpedo me, but he won't hit me. He goes behind the island. The Kuma is down. Still a lot of ships. Four ships down, they only have two ships down. Let the slow as battleship. The one going almost no speed at all. No, but here we have a Congo. Switching to AP. Six hits. I do damage, but could be more. Let's hope AP does it. I bring myself into range of three battleships at once. That might get ugly. And closer. I like battleships when they go into close combat, uh, close quarter combat. And that was a good citadel hit. That's what we want. More of that, please. An enemy fuso went behind the island. Not without shooting me. There goes the Congo. Inside the cap? No, I'm not. I'm just driving around the cap. Turn to go inside the cap. We need the points. The enemy team has taken the lead. Yes, they do. What? Only now? I thought they've taken the lead already. So, let's capture this thing. I wonder if the fuser gets out before the. What was it? New Mexico? New Mexico. Doesn't look like it. We'll try to aim for the New Mexico then. There we go. Oh wait, that was the guy who drives so slow. What? Not a citadel penetration, otherwise I would have noticed. There was a destroyer behind the island. Torpedoes to starboard. Yeah, yes, but a little late. Fuso is going behind that island. Oh, and torpedo bombs. We are down to two battleships, two cruisers, and one. Direct front. Destroy, okay. This was a manual drop. But a weird one. <laughs> They're all behind islands. This sucks. 
Okay, I will do something I will regret. I will turn my ship to and attacking from the port side. The problem with that being, of course, that I only have three turrets aiming his direction. If even. Come on, turrets, turn. I don't use the module that makes my turrets turn faster because I would lose reloading speed. I gave him a good Torpedoes to port. salvo. Yep. I know I will keep that course. I will turn the turrets all the way around. See if I can shoot the fuso making my way to B. <clears throat> when the New Mexico shows up behind the island, I should be able to get him. He's almost down. Maybe I can shoot a destroyer. God, destroy on that range. And with AP. It's not going as fast as I expected. But I need my shells reloaded for the. Got him. Nice. Well, in New Mexico. Come on. It's time to do this now. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> then, Königsberg. Come on. It's time to do this now. Um, let's see. He doesn't seem to go very fast. Oh, he's definitely not going very fast. And I accidentally double clicked. Oops. But. Dead ahead. That worked. They come from the other destroyer. Let's use the repair kit. Set the ship straight. Oh, and they got him. Not good, not good. Königsberg might have not enough armor for me to use AP. Is it turning towards me? Hell. Should be within the secondary range pretty soon though. Of course he wants to torpedo me. Does he have so many torpedoes? Wait, that's a Königsberg. It's tier 5, not the tier 4 one. But I evaded those and he is within secondary range. Now come on my mighty guns. Running. Let's hope the fuser can get him. Mr. Muff, Mr. Fattest Muff, got him. And we're down to one destroyer and one aircraft carrier versus two battleships and an Auber. Whatever he's doing back there. What is he doing? Now I, wish I, m I would have more speed, but if someone spots him for whatever reason, I can use my airplane to get him. And since it's a destroyer and an aircraft carrier, I will go back to HE, so I can blast them off the water if I get the chance to see them. I have the feeling that the rest of the match will be waiting for something to happen. The enemy is about to win. We really have to sink something or it will be tough. Let's do the math. We get 4 points per 6 seconds, which means 40 points in a minute, which means 6 minutes. The, the, the should be enough points, but still. Let's send him out to capture C. He's not really useful where he is at the moment anyway, so... Besides, if Mr. Alem in the... Mutsuki sinks the Fuso, which he just did, they get a massive point boost, and that is a bad thing.
So let's press F11. Mutsuki! It has to be the tier 6. Let's use one more repair kit. I hope I will be able to sink him without him one-shotting me or one-salvoing me. The problem is if he goes to A and caps it, we have the point disadvantage. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad. We get more points, but they have way more points than we do. They will even win by points if it goes on for five minutes. The aircraft carrier will sit in the very far end of the map. If I'm lucky, and I hope I am, normally don't say that, but if I'm lucky the destroyer uh, goes for me. I should wait since there will be... Oh, new voice. The aircraft carrier will sit in the back of the map and I might not be able to catch him without the engine upgrades. And here come the torpedoes, which will set me off course, of course. Wouldn't even have uh, to evade. They would have missed me anyway. It's probably just in training. And I really hope the destroyer goes for me because if he doesn't cap and if I'm be, uh, able to destroy him, we will win this. If he decides to cap points, then we will just lose by points. Ugh. Let's see if my spotter plane can find anything. Come on, go! Spotter airborne. The enemy is about to win. We have about two more minutes. And here come the torpedoes, so he must be around here somewhere, but I don't see him. Will not alter course. I will not use my repair kit yet. Now I will do. <coughs> torpedoes missed me and. Are they going? Well, either he's faking it. Problem solved, sir! And he is letting them go there and then up there, or he is really sitting right there, but then I would be able to see him. If he captures C within time. Less than one. There he is. There is the destroyer. If I can get a good hit on the destroyer and sink him, then. No, he won't let me. He's wiggling around too much. But if we capture C. And if I don't die from five torpedo hits, Fook. Not that one. Sadly, I used my repair kit, so... Okay, I'm down. Everything is broken. Why did I do so little damage? I will burn and bleed to death before I can do anything. And I need to stop because if I go on, my front turrets can't shoot over the run. Well, at least we got all the points, so they won't lose by points. It's just one minute and we get... Uh, and we might win this on points. Might. What did I do? Uh, what did I say? 80, so 120 per minute. We have one and a half minutes, so 180 points. That would be glorious. I would like to win by points.
Move, sick! For great justice! Yes, he got him by fire! Ah, that was glorious! And <laughs> so close. 7,900 experience. Oh, that... Oh, wait, that wasn't due to the Carmo. That was due to 1,700 base XP. What did we do? 60,000 damage, 25,000 with HE shells. That one crit was really, really nice. What was it on the... Uh, uh, Miyogi. There was no Miyogi. The Congo. Yes, that one. I critted that pretty good. Damage received, quite a lot. Torpedo hits, yeah, the five times salvo. That was a good one. Respect to the enemy carrier captain. Out of three manual salvos, the last one was pretty, pretty good. Very well. Can we buy anything now? Oh, wait, I already got the engine. Okay. We could buy that if we would have the third hall upgrade. I will not spend more free XP at the moment. We'll do that with the next match. Let's let's mount a few flags though. We need the XP earned flag. I should have mounted that before. And we need the I don't get hit camo. So here we have. What a glorious match. Makes up for the crappy first match. So, thank you for watching. See you next Monday. Or maybe over the weekend if I decide to record some more. Star Wars Battlefront stuff. Also, welcome to all the new viewers that subscribed after the M4 improved review. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye.